I mean, honestly, I think I read the book when it first came out, which at this point probably is six, seven years ago. So it was, I, 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 I liked it. I, to be honest, when I got the script, I looked at the title and I was like, well, this title seems so familiar. So I Googled it because I thought maybe I had read the script in a previous mm -hmm. like reincarnation of it. And then the book, the, the front cover popped up and I was like, oh, I know this one. And I remember going, <laughs> what's the twist? Like, I couldn't remember what it was. I remembered one of them, but I couldn't remember the second one. So when I read the script, I forgot this, the, there's like a whole second part to it. And so I, I'd like to say I read the script with fresh eyes and then I went back and reread the book after I'd read the script. So I'd read the book twice in between reading the script. I mean, I've made this joke before where I just simply hope that people don't second screen while watching this movie and then I'll feel like we've all won. Um, I, 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 I think that the movie speaks for itself. And I think that if, if we did a good job, which I feel like we did a great job, I think you'll walk away with a little bit more empathy mm -hmm. and a little, I know that that word is overused, but I, but I mean it in this case. And I hope that people, um, are, uh, comfortable enough to ask the uncomfortable questions and talk about this. And, but you don't want to tell people what to think or how to think or what to say, but I, I really do think the movie allows itself to open up the door to a multitude of conversations. I also hope that parents watch this and have a conversation with their kids. Like, I mean, there's, there's the post trauma and then there's how do you prevent this from happening conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think both are equally as important. It's a lot about what not to do. And also, you know, giving yourself grace and allowing yourself to, to heal. And I think that that's something that as society, we don't really always allow women in particular time for. And mm -hmm. so I hope that this kind of brings that a little bit into perspective. <laughs> well, I was waiting for someone else to speak. Um, <laughs> Puna, you're so quiet. Um, no, I was gonna say that also the, the, the great thing about Jess is in the post, I do wanna add that the, um, all the inter like internal dialogue that the character has was rewritten many, many, many a times. Mm -hmm. So the the structure was there, the the spine was there, but we did finesse the internal dialogue because none of us wanted the, the dialogue to feel expositionary. Like we didn't want it to feel like it's a version of pushing the story along. We actually wanted it to be an independent character. And then when we saw one of the many cuts, but the early cut, we realized how great of a character that was. And so I think that through many re-records, we elevated that that one voice drastically. And that's to Jess's yeah. credit, she did a beautiful job with a lot of um, um, rewrites in post. <laughs> I'll piggyback you, Eric. Uh, but, but I also will say as like new to the project, as far as the timeline goes, um, I, I cannot speak more fondly of uh, of the team picture start and team made up stories. And as somebody who came in at the very end of their seven year journey, I've never worked with producers who were as open minded and as eager to educate and invite and make other people feel like their opinions worthy. Unlike like, I mean, Bruna and Eric and Jean are they should have a master's class on how to be exemplary producers because you can do hard work and still have fun and be kind and nice and generous and i do find that oftentimes in our industry producers in order to get their job done um are like bulls in the china shop and they have to peacock in a certain way and be a certain way in order to put forth a certain type of perception in order to get work done and i've never worked with a team like this who is the polar opposite it's the most fun the easiest production I've ever been a part of with the heaviest of topics. Mm -hmm. And so as far as the juxtaposition of like making an incredible movie that deals with really hard topics, it could not have been a more welcoming, warm, kind, funny environment to be a part of. So I do want to say thank you to the three of you.